everybody, J.K. Calloway here at Real J.K. Calloway, coming at you the results for this week's hashtag skirmish game. This week we played hashtag flatter your date in four words. Super cute responses all over the place, plus some dirty, dirty bastards doing their best to <laughs> creep everyone out. Really fun stuff. Make sure you boop, click on the hashtag, start scrolling, meet new people, comment on people's stuff, and interact. So. Really fun tag, really cute, and if you happen to be single, I'm not, suck it, but if you are, there's some good advice out there for you. Before we get into it, make sure you do download the Hashtag Roundup app, outstanding app, consolidates all the best weekly hashtag games, including Hashtag Skirmish. We play every single Friday, 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific, and yeah, download it. It's free and awesome. Do it now. Also, just a heads up, next week I'm going to be out of town, so I've got a couple really awesome people taking over the skirmish game. It'll be at Ubiquitous B Dog and at Darth underscore Pingu. They're going to take over the skirmish next week. I will make a top 10. I'm going to do it on vacation, so it'll be a different look. But make sure you play along with that game because those two are killers. They're going to put on a great game, and it's going to be a lot of fun. So, yeah. Thanks, guys. You're awesome. But now let's get right into it, our top 10 for this week's Hashtag Skirmish Game. Hashtag flatter your date in four words. Number 10 comes from at spiffy underscore iffy one. You look really nice. Sometimes you keep it simple. You don't have to go all crazy and say a monologue for someone. Just, but hey, you look really nice. You look great. It's really simple, really effective, and uh, I rarely get slapped when I say it. Number nine comes from at Jane underscore Fowdy. You scrub up okay. Sometimes you just gotta compliment someone for being able to shower and shave once in a while. I'm married. Number eight comes from at Charles of Camden. You make me lose count. Word game tags, man. Someone's always got to be a wise ass. No, this one was clever and I liked it because every once in a while you do meet one of those people. You know what I mean? You meet one of those people, you look at them, and they're just so damn striking and stunning. You're just kind of like, I, 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 Number seven comes from at Paul M. Waxman. Your skin looks sewable. Sometimes you meet that one person and you think to yourself, Ooh, they would make a lovely shawl. It's really gotta suck being a single woman just going on a date and realizing pretty quick that, oh, you gotta run. Number six comes from an office drone 841. Duct tape suits you. I didn't say they all had to be first dates. It could be an ongoing date against her will in your basement. Number five comes from a gem of a gal with underscores for spaces. Bet you taste great. That that doesn't happen in real life. That that's there's no. I have never once in my life ever had someone be that badass forward. You know what I mean? Like I've I've had some pretty great dates that moved pretty quickly, if you will, but never like like damn. <laughs> Number four comes from that big dweeb. Glad I swiped right. This has to be a pretty common one now, doesn't it? With how long Tinder's been around and apparently how successful it's been. <laughs> but like during the date, after you've been talking for a while, even maybe at the beginning of the date, you sit down with someone and you go, wow, glad I swiped right on you, man. Yeah, this is gonna be a good time. There's a human being sitting across from you, not a profile. Maybe dial into that. Number three comes from it, Lady Hellacious. Best date since prison. Here's the thing about that. I, I dig the response, but like when you're not in prison, sometimes if you go on a date, it's because you feel like you should. If you go on a date while you're in prison, it's because you want to. There are other things that maybe you don't want to do in prison, but very rarely would you classify those as dates. <laughs> Number two comes from at Perry is Woken. I'd tap that twice. Yeah, this would be flattering, right? It's like, 
Anyone can sleep with someone once, but will there be a return engagement? Sometimes you don't have that kind of connection where you want to see someone a second time. You'll, you'll have fun for a night, but after that, it's kind of like, nah, that was, that was cool. We're good. Now, before we get to our number one, here are a few honorable mentions, including one from the host at Real JK Calloway. One from me, you are absolutely stunning. I like to keep it simple. Just a nice compliment. Wow, you like you are really quite incredible. Like it's it's some people just take you back like that. And they appreciate the compliment, hopefully, if it's reciprocated. Or they ask for the check. <laughs> One from it can't funny. Your boobs look real. Well, thank you. One from at moon underscore river 05. You are so funny. I'm all yours now. I don't know what it is. That's that's mine. That's you, you call me funny. You say I'm funny. I make you laugh. And yeah, putty. Putty in your hands. Take all my money. One from it, Dream Weasel. That makeup works wonders. You ever meet someone that's not wearing that much and they're just stunning? And it's like, I like you. You get, you get lucky with the genetics and you own that crap. But for whatever reason, like you look at celebrities, like the kid celebrities, like whatever Kylie Jenner name. I think that's her name, I don't even know. Just foundation everywhere. Everything is covered. The eyebrows are painted on with not a small brush. It's like a painter's brush, like one of the rolling brushes. Everything needs to be a rectangle now. It's super weird. Have you seen What's Her Nuts? The Kylie Jenner, like without makeup, she's pretty. She's also 20 or less than that. She might be 14 for all I know. She's cute. What the hell are you covering all it up for? Everyone looks like they're doing a kabuki theater program now, man. It's weird. It's just a weird thought. It's just weird to me. I'm sorry. Don't think for a second. Some of you women out there, and men, honestly, you, you need the makeup, though. Let, let's be real. Not everyone's a natural beauty. So, for some of you out there, yeah, kick it on. And one from a tweets by Eddie. I would retweet that. It's a very specific type of date, but <laughs> if it's two people in the hashtag community, man, that line might get you laid. <laughs> and our number one for this week's hashtag skirmish game comes from at pdiddy71. You make desperation attractive. Well, I feel like this might be a lot of dates, honestly. To be fair, this is all men at all dates. We, we have a desperation about us. We need to be, well, we don't really need to be loved. We just need to be touched. Well, no, we want acceptance and, you know, we want verification that we're worth loving. We don't need to necessarily be loved. We just need the verification that we're worth loving. You know what I mean? It's a very different thing. And, of course, sex. We are taking you out for sex. Maybe not tonight, depends on, you know, the connection and if, if you're willing. But that is always the goal. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching my video. Make sure you do hit subscribe, should be right around here. Check out my latest video, it'll be over there. Find me on other social media sites, always real JK Calloway. Give a follow to my personal hashtag game on Twitter, it's at hashtag skirmish. And check out the hashtag roundup app all the best weekly hashtag games, including mine. My name's J.K. Calloway, and we'll talk to you next time.